have such a love for entertaining. My husband loves to entertain and weekly dinner parties are a common occurrence around here. Hey guys, I'm Sid from The Sweetest Occasion and today we're setting a casual but elegant dinner table. One of my hallmarks when I'm entertaining is trying to mostly pull from things that I already own to create a really awesome looking table that impresses your guests but doesn't cost you a lot of money or take a lot of time. So today we're keeping those ideas in mind as we set this table perfect for a dinner party. And by dinner party, I could mean a four course meal or takeout pizza. Either way is fair game. Down the center of the table, I have a piece of fabric. It's actually a remnant that I picked up at the fabric store. I use, it still has a raw edge. I didn't sew it, I didn't finish it off. It looks kind of cool. The vibe again is just casual, easy, unfussy, but adding that bit of texture to the table with the stretch just adds a little extra something interesting. I love a good charger under a dinner plate. They're not strictly necessary, but they do add a little extra element of something something. These are galvanized, they're really casual, easy. I picked them up at a local craft store with like a 60% off coupon. If you can't find chargers, no worries, just skip that. One of my biggest entertaining tips is to use white dinnerware. It'll mix and match with everything. You can buy pieces as you find them and you don't have to worry about everything matching perfectly. These white dinner plates are completely inexpensive. You can find really similar plates just about anywhere. I like to go with something that has really clean lines. It's just simple. Again, it will mix and match no matter what kind of party you're hosting. Really inexpensive tea towels. I think these cost about 79 cents a piece. Rolled up with some jute twine with a little name tag attached. They create the perfect little napkin, but they also add a little interest to the plate. And if you want to get fancy and assign seating, this is the perfect way to do it. Because we're trying to keep things casual and really fun, I'm setting the table with pint glasses. If your friends are anything like mine, they like to drink beer with their dinner and now the stage is perfectly set. The final touch of each play setting is the flatware. Now, in general, I am a huge advocate of using the real stuff. I'm not big into disposable. My exception to that rule is flatware. I think most of us don't have the space or the budget to just stock a bunch of different kinds of flatware. So using a great disposable flatware is an awesome option to create a different look on a budget. The centerpiece of this table is an amazing snack board. I'm just using a large cutting board, filling little mason jars full of nuts, adding some caramel corn, some popcorn, some dried fruit, and lots of cheese. It's a perfect appetizer spread. It also just fills the table, makes it feel really fun, sets people at ease, and gives them that bite to eat as soon as they walk in the door. Two little vases of flowers on either side round things out perfectly. I love grocery store flowers. You cannot go wrong just popping into your local market, picking up whatever is fresh and colorful. I think white is always a great option for dinner because it looks really elegant, but at the same time, it's inexpensive, it's quick to do, you can't go wrong. For more details on how to set the perfect dinner party table and more entertaining ideas, visit thesweetestoccasion.com.